Time is running out for seven-year-old Amaya Holmes Yearwood to get a liver transplant. But her father, Ryan Yearwood, who is struggling to make ends meet, cannot finance the estimated $250,000 procedure in Colombia. With Amaya sitting on his lap, struggling to hold back his tears, Mr. Yearwood says it's difficult watching the health of his child who is battling end-stage liver disease deteriorate. He says he is hopeful Amaya, who has spent most of her life thus far being sick, gets help. Right now, her last time she went into the um, hospital for her stool, blood in her stools, and she got some blood transfusion, two blood transfusion done, um, um, an esophageal scope, where the, the scope went through her, her, um, her throat, where they could go down and see what's going on in there, and they were saying, well, there's bleeding, slight bleeding, so they tried to ban, but they could only do so much, and they find that her stomach area is really bloated, and it's getting harder and painful, more, a little more painful for her at times when she has to move around and stuff. The father of five says his daughter, who often tells him that she just wants to get better to play, attend school on a regular basis, and do what other children do, was diagnosed with the health condition at 11 weeks old. He says doctors have informed him that they can only treat Amaya's symptoms as best as they possibly can until she receives the transplant. The doctors have said that she would have, they don't, um, might not have made it to at least three years old, but she's defying the odds and she's fighting on because she says she wants to live and she wants to be a nurse or a doctor that she can help people. The family has approached the QEH in the past for assistance. We would like her to get at least a little GoFundMe going on, something that would help bring in some funds that we could get our passports and stuff in order so that she could get a chance, even if we um, could f go there in Colombia. Amaya lost her mother, Sharyan Holmes, to a severe asthma attack last December, as well as her nine-month-old sister, earlier that year. Anesta Henry, CBC News.